one thing about Nigerians is we will always eat a swallow. Swallow is one of our everyday meals here in Nigeria. If you're not a Nigerian, swallow is just any food, usually tubers and grains, a molded form that we used to eat soup. <laughs> okay, that's the best I can describe it. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my special swallow recipe that I love so much. Friends, trust me when I say this recipe is so good, so nutritious, and more so, even super healthy. And then again, if you have a toddler or a child that does not like swallow, this is that one to introduce to them because they will absolutely love it. You will love today's video, so don't go nowhere, okay? <laughs> Hey my friends, my name is Uzoms the Billionaire and you're absolutely welcome to today's recipe. You will absolutely love the fact that you watch today's video and trust me, you will learn something new. That is one thing that is common in Uzoms kitchen. Every time you come on here, you definitely will live with something new. And today's video is not an exception to that. Okay, once again, you're welcome. If you're a newbie, please click the subscribe button to officially join Ozom's Kitchen family. Like this video and yes, you want to share to your friends, your family and your loved ones. Okay, if you're not new, thank you for always. Thank you, like you guys, you know now, you know how we roll. Thank you for always, okay? And then, if you're a newbie, remember that you've missed out on a lot of our recipes. That you will love so click the link that is showing right now to watch now let's make this swallow that you will love so much and your kids will love as well you already you've already seen it the first ingredient for this particular swallow is our sweet potatoes friends oh my god just make sure whatever you do just make sure you try this recipe out you definitely will love it there's a second ingredient and it's gonna be introduced at the very end of the video so you need to watch to the end to see what was used okay friends all you gotta do right now is just to peel your sweet potatoes you know to get it ready of course you cannot use it like this <laughs> so peel the skin and get it ready for blending yes we're going to be using it raw just as so you're not cooking it first you're going to peel it cut it to sizable you know chunky sizable um pieces and then we get ready for blending please whatever you do you have to be quick with this process because you do not want the back of the potatoes you know to start turning green or brown again when you finish peeling it before you are done you can just be adding it into a bowl of water that also helps it to remain whitish okay but when it stays out you know without water and anything it starts to turn green and change color and really you do not want that Peeling and cutting this sweet potato always reminds me of how much my dad loves sweet potato. I mean, you guys, my dad will finish eating correct food though. Like, imagine making swallow or, not, or have soup for him. And by the way, I have a full video recipe showing you how to make your ofo wary at home, friends. You gotta check that recipe. It is linked right now. Do click to watch, okay? Now my dad will finish eating correct soup with swallow. And yes, to divert again, I have a full video recipe showing how to make your hot stretchy egg bar at home. Do click the link to watch that recipe. You will love it and learn something new. I'm sorry for diverting, but let me get back to my story, okay? Now my dad will finish eating correct food though. 
this same my father will tell me just let me say 10 minutes later Uzoms, I want sweet potatoes. This was like every single day or let me say every other day. If not every single day, my dad had sweet potatoes. The only time he won't have it is maybe it's not available in the house. Okay. Now, because of him, we had to buy sweet potato. Like sweet potato is a staple in my house. It must be available because my dad, after eating, he must request for sweet potato i mean he loves it fried okay so i was so used to cutting this growing up like it was a daily affair it was really a daily affair i would cut it in two minutes like i can call this thing eh? <laughs> because i got used to it you know imagine doing this every day or every other day i mean you literally get used to it so i remember doing cutting um sweet potatoes for um, a friend's wedding i went for her wedding and she saw the world was very fast in cutting it and she was shocked she was like ah, how is it that i'm almost done cutting all of this you know because they bought like a lot and i was like oh i'm i'm used to it my dad eats this thing every day so i literally got used to cutting um sweet potatoes every day because you know cutting sweet potato can be can be quite um it's not an easy task to be very honest but because of experience, I've done this so much that I got used to it. I literally caught this thing very fast. <laughs> you guys, let me know in the comment section. Do you enjoy cutting sweet potatoes? Is it a war for my husband hates doing this work? Let me know. Do you like it or do you find it um, easy? Yeah, that's the word. Do you find it easy to do or it's quite difficult for you? Let me know in the comment section, okay? <laughs> A secret to cutting your potatoes really fast is just a so whatever you do you need a very sharp knife you guys i love to buy knife like you guys already know <laughs> from my old unboxing videos meanwhile i have an unboxing video that is coming up real soon for you so look out for it okay you love that one friends the number one secret i love or when cutting my sweet potato especially is to use sharp knife just give me sharp knife and that's it Forget about the rest. I can literally cut potatoes really quick. Just give me a sharp knife. It works for me 100% of the time. Like, just give me a sharp knife and a cutting board and the rest, they say, is history. Because, I mean, cutting this every other day when I grew up, you know, really taught me to do it fast. Because, like I said earlier, my dad is this thing. As long as he's available in the household, like as long as sweet potatoes are available he will eat it till he finishes yes so imagine growing up like that you know so just give me sharp knife and i mean the rest is history so if you want to cut your sweet potatoes really quick you know effortlessly use a very sharp knife trust me you'll be very quick but you gotta be careful not to wound yourself now we are done cutting our sweet potatoes we will now head to the next step Hey my friend, do you know you can support Uzum's Kitchen? How you might ask? Firstly, by subscribing to our channel. So please take a moment to kindly subscribe to our channel. You can support us by sharing our videos. When you share to other people, they get to see, click and watch. Friends, we really do need your support. So please share, like this video and you want to watch some of our previous videos you know to help us meet our youtube target friends another way you can you know support us is by watching our playlist now if you go to my channel please click on playlist and i mean just watch you can play it as you're sleeping you can play it even during work hours maybe you have a nine to five you can just play it and just keep working it's a silent life so there is nothing showing and it's muted so friends these are ways you can literally help us you know to achieve our target and please i'm really counting on you for this support thank you so much for always and for you guys my friends that have always watched and still watching i am so grateful for every one of you i see you i really see you thank you so 
so much very soon i'm sure we'll be celebrating big time okay <laughs> now we'll just go ahead to blend our sweet potatoes you want to add enough water but not too much you want to add just enough for the blending and please try and use a very strong blender because if your blender is not strong enough trust me it's, it's not even going to blend because irish potato is quite strong okay You want to blend this till it's very very smooth and in total i blended this for like two minutes or less than that you know because i wanted to be sure every part and pieces of the potato you know is smooth because this is what we are talking about you don't want to see any lumps or it's not well grounded so you need to take your time and blend this friends i really do hope you have a good blender because i mean this this requires a really good blender to be able to blend raw potatoes you know that potatoes are not soft you know they are quite hard so that is about the blending we are almost done yes i was trying to check if it was smooth and it was oh my god it was literally like water <laughs> that's how smooth it was so this was perfect now let us go to the cooking process to your pot you want to add it on fire do not add any liquid friends the potato already has a lot of liquid remember i said we're going to be adding a second ingredient it is not yet time to add it okay because that second ingredient does not require time to cook at all but this one has to cook first okay this one has to cook because this is raw sweet potato now take note of the color as we start you can see how pale the color is you know so take note of the color because you will know when um the sweet potato is, is cooked by the color change okay now just pour this to an empty pot please do not add water please i repeat do not add water the water used in blending the potatoes plus the water content of the potato i'll repeat that again the water you used in blending the sweet potato plus the liquid content in the sweet potato is enough for the swallow okay so please do not add any extra liquid very important <laughs> now all you want to do is just go ahead to stir it you know with your spatula or with your wooden spoon okay or in quotes turning gary <laughs> my niger people will understand okay so you just want to keep stirring it i just please let me say this do not for one second leave your pot uh -huh. hey god your pot will burn it happened to me so i'm telling you this so that you don't make the mistake that i made okay whenever i'm making this particular swallow i never leave my you know where i'm standing i just keep staring it and this happens really quickly so it's not um like you're gonna stay there for too long no so just stay there or stay close by and just stare occasionally you don't want to leave it for five minutes and then come back to come and stare no you will meet a burnt offering okay so if you want to leave please just make sure you come back don't be don't don't leave it for too long basically if not it will burn it's gonna burn very very well okay notice that the color is beginning to change that is because the sweet potato is cooking and it's getting done now the color has changed drastically you know when you boil your sweet potato this is usually the color it comes it comes out with okay that means it is ready so friends please take note of the color i cannot tell you how long i cooked it okay because i don't know the power of your gas or you know if it burns more than my own or if mine burns more than yours plus i cook this on low heat you guys can see my my gas is on the lowest seats okay so i really cannot tell but the way you can know is by the color look how this color is it is 100 percent ready 
in fact you can serve this thing like this and eat it you know as mashed i don't know what to call it or your pureed um sweet potato you can actually serve this to a child and they will enjoy it just you know as stew or something on top and they will enjoy it you know so i don't know how long to cook it but just watch out for color change you guys can see how the color has changed drastically when you notice the color has changed to this you guys like i said earlier you know when you cook your potato this is the color it comes out in okay so that is it's ready now our second ingredient that will now bind this up is our oats flour yes you know that your normal oats that cooker oats you buy from your supermarket or your grocery stores that's what you're going to be using here all you want to do is to blend it okay blend it till it's very very smooth okay and then add it to this friends i know somebody might be asking ah uh -uh, why didn't you add it to the sweet potato when you were blending it that is because the sweet potato required more time to cook okay so adding the oats might just be too much cooking too much unnecessary cooking for it you just need to add the oats to bind it up literally so oats does not need to even be cooked at all if you have um overnight oats and all of those things you'll know that quicker oats or your oats really does not need cooking okay so i'm just adding this to bind it up friends the only reason why you're adding your potato is to bind it up okay <laughs> trust me on this one this swallow is so good and trust me when i say you gotta try it it is so good ah it is sweet sha Friends, all you gotta do is just roll up your sleeves and just keep staring it. This didn't take any um a long time at all, you know. But because I'm doing a video, I gotta show you all the processes. <laughs> but that's about it. Just keep staring it the same way you will make your eba. And quite honestly, um you can confuse this particular swallow to eba somehow. You know, both of them have the same vibe. You know when you make it i it, it usually reminds me of eba yeah so i don't know if you're a lover of eba you definitely love this swallow and even if you're not a lover of eba really this swallow is different you know it's is is so different it's quite fluffy to touch and it's just so good Serve it with your okra, you know, you will love it so much. Oh my god. Serve it with any soup or salad, but I particularly love it with okra, you know, because I love um, eating my okra with um, eba, okay? And this swallow kind of gives me eba vibe. I don't like eba. I'm not a lover of eba, but this way I can, you know, tolerate it, so... Friends, let me know in the comment section if you've ever tried this combo, you know. This combo, I've never seen it anywhere. It's one of the recipes that came to my head and I decided to bring it to life. And yes, it was so good. Friends, anything I tell you was so good. Believe me, it was so good. <laughs> you guys, see Swallow now. Habar. Look at Swallow. It looks so good and so fluffy and super yum this is healthy if you're looking for healthy swallow do not sleep on this believe me because this is literally sweet potato and oat swallow two very healthy ingredients you guys know if you ever been on a weight loss journey they'll tell you to eat sweet potato and oats and the likes so imagine combining the two to make this super yummy delicious swallow so if you're looking for a healthy alternative you don't want to eat pounded yam but you still want to enjoy your swallow this is her looking at you <laughs> you're gonna eat this and you'll be so guilt free knowing that you're still eating healthy okay just pair to any other soup your vegetable soup any soup of choice you guys see why i say it looks like a bar it actually does look like it somehow okay so yes this is it this is your healthy 
swallow it is so so yummy oh my god believe me when i say it's good just look at this now eh oh god <laughs> Friends, I really hope you enjoyed watching this and you've learned something new in this video. Believe me when I say the swallow is good and you definitely need to try it. Thank you once more for stopping by to watch today's recipe. I am so appreciative of you. Thank you for coming back again and again. Remember to support Ozom's Kitchen by subscribing, liking this video, you want to share as well and then running our playlist and of course comment i want to hear from you i love you but jesus loves you most bye